Okay, I want the curl to be down here in my face, in my face, put it in my face. <laughs> to my channel with your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Wigmas. Today's video is brought to you by Ebony Line. They were kind enough to send me two units to review for you guys. I'm also collabing with two of my girls in these YouTube streets and they go by Lovely Shell and Danita P. Lovely Shell is all about the colors and you know the va-va-voom. I just love her energy. Plus she sings. Girl has a bomb voice. Danita P is super super sweet. She's also married. Her and her husband are super cute together. They do like mukbangs or mukbangs however you want to say it. They travel. They just live the good life okay you know wig is here so we are all giving you three different affordable holiday sleigh units okay that was a lot to say in one breath goodness again this is a different way to get different looks on different skin tones they are new to the wig games and i just want to show them so much love because they are so supportive to my channel and to everyone that they watch i always see them in the comments so shout out to lovely shell and danita p for always supporting your girl i will put both of their videos down below so make sure you go check them out you guys and tell them that kyra sean sent you but before we get into my particular unit and what I think about it throughout the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this video is brought to you by Ebony Line. They're kind of to send me one unit in two colors to review for you guys. Okay, so the first, oh. <laughs> So the unit is by Janet Collection. It is a part of their Color Me Collection. This is the unit Lovely. This is what her card looks like and I have her in the color Sugar Brown. And this unit retails for $29.95, I think. Yes, yes, yes. However, there is a $4 upcharge for any specialty color. So the two units I'm showing you today are specialty colors and they do retail for $33.95. So like I say, go in that change purse, get the extra $4 and try the specialty colors out if you want a little flavor, okay? This unit does come with a six inch deep center part, two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. I will tell you this cap is big head friendly. It fits smooth over my big old dome. I do have on my wig grip and my hair is cornrowed under this unit. My follicles are breathing just fine. She does come down on both of my sides, so this cap is perfect. Okay, I don't even know how to do that. Mwah. There we go. <laughs> I do feel like the hair texture for Janet Collection is always on point. I just love how their hair feels. Classy was super soft. June is super soft. However, Lovely, hmm, Lovely is not as soft as I, it definitely feels a little coarse. Um, it's like a coarse softness, if that makes any sense. It brushes really nicely and it looks really nice, you know, on camera and everything. Did get some shedding and tangling with this unit. Nothing crazy, pretty much after I like combed her through and styled her and everything, she was good to go. But tangling will happen with this unit just based off the texture of this unit because the coarseness of it is kind of making it tangle in certain areas. Now right now it's, oh, I was about to say right now it's fine, but you see right there, I'm getting some tangles. I can pull them through with my fingers. So is he safe up to 360 degrees? I'm pretty sure my hot comb was on a little bit hotter than that. Oops. So I probably could have burned this dag on unit. This little flyaway, Lord, Cindy Lou. Come on, come on, Cindy Lou. Did go in and put some heat up here on the top of my unit um, just to make her lay a little bit flatter for me. Styling this unit out the pack, <sighs> for my taste, was not the easiest. It wasn't hard, okay, but it wasn't like ready to go out the pack the way that I would have wanted to. The parting space of this unit is not as open as I think that it should be. So I realized when I styled it in the middle, the part just looked really, 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 it was real tight, okay, tight. Mm. I thought I could rock it in the middle because I saw my girl Charisma, I think in a similar color, and she rocked hers in the middle and I feel like it looked fine on her. But I do know her head is a lot smaller than mine, so maybe that has something to do with it. And I was okay, even though she's not meant to be a side part because the combs are literally right by the parting area and then you have the ear tabs on the side I still was trying to make it work on the side but the first time I turned it to the side it just was not working 
out, y'all. I'm just like, what am I doing wrong with this unit? It does come with baby hairs, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to use those. I want to use my own. So let me kind of, you know, figure that out. So first I moved it a little bit behind my hairline and then I put the concealer in, but then I messed up on the concealer. I put too much. So then I had to move it a little bit closer to my hairline. And then I just, you know, kind of try to smooth my baby hairs down on the side right here. And then I thought that was cute. It wasn't. <laughs> So then I decided, okay, let me bring out some of the baby hairs. Well, I couldn't really find them in the unit anymore because I had combed them back. So I ended up bringing down some of the actual longer hairs. So then I tried to just swoop that back up. That was a mess. I was like, what am I doing wrong with this unit? I cannot get this unit to work. Then I was like, okay, I can't find the baby hairs anymore. Um, so let me just go ahead and cut some new ones and see if I can make this work. So I moved her a little bit more to my right side, cut the baby hairs, and then I just went in and kind of, you know, laid them down using my edge booster. And that somehow worked out. You do get like a little bit of hairline on the lace. It doesn't go right into track. So you can, you know, maneuver the baby hair a little bit more to make the hairline look a little bit more natural, which is what I did. So after three, three attempts, this just goes to show you guys, I have issues too. I did go in with some powder up in this area and it looks really good. So all this right here, you guys, all that right there is this wig. Only thing that's to me that's out right now is from here, this little part here, down, okay? This is me. So I think I laid this joint like a pro. Boom, bomb drop, I did it, I did it. I'm happy with myself, I am so giddy, but this fly away. Cindy Lou. Now, because this wasn't meant to be like, you know, deep on the side like this, you will have to worry about the flyaways. All you need is a freeze spray, a wax stick to lay down the flyaways, and your edge booster to do this. Next up, we have the curl pattern of this unit. Okay, least favorite part about this unit. I feel like the curl is way too low on this unit. Now, see how straight she is? And then she goes into the curl. That to me is just a wonky looking curl. I just I just don't like that curl. I think that's also why I felt like it looked weird on my face in the center part because it was so straight. It just has it just has no shape in my opinion. I do like some body around my face. Like when I play with it, okay, she gets body. But obviously I can't walk around like this. Hey girl, hey, hey girl, yeah. So obviously you're gonna have to use some hairspray or something like that to kind of you know liven it up a little bit because you know she she a little flat. She she a little flat. Okay, but this is how she is looking from the side. That just looks really pretty to me, and especially because the baby hairs, I feel like are laid to perfection. I did that. So that's how she's looking from the side, and then this is how she is looking to the back. So she's pretty long on me. She comes down um, about mid back, and then to the front, she comes down above my chest. So I'll say it's about an 18, 18 to 20 inch to the front. But yeah, y'all, so she's a cute unit. I do like how I snazzed her all up. <laughs> Now, if you want to put it in this style, but then kind of pin her back, like behind your ear, let's see, let's see. So you could, you could do that if you wanted to, but I feel like that looks weird on my face, so I wouldn't do that. Okay, I want the curl to be down here in my face, in my face, put it in my face. <laughs> Whoa. The favorite thing about this unit is definitely the color, you guys. I just love how that looks. Sugar brown is the ish. Ooh, I look good. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the next color, um, and then you guys can tell me which one you like the best, all right? Be right back. Okay, so now we're back and we have color number two. Same unit, Janet Collection Lovely, and I have her in the color FF Blonde slash Honey Blonde. I had to change my little outfit because this color and my little, my last dress was clashing together and it was too much. Now you do get the uh, face framing, which is the FF Blonde highlight here in the front, and then you get the rest of the unit, you get that Honey Blonde color, which I think is done really, really nicely. You also get that dark root. I'm not really a fan of the 1B dark root into a blonde color. However, I don't feel like it looks horrible. I just would have preferred it if it was like a number two or some type of brown color. But again, it does not look horrible, especially because I did go in and do the same thing with the baby hairs. And these are my edges once again that are out. So I made it work. This is how she is looking from the front and then to the back, same length. That looks really, really pretty, you guys. That looks really pretty. And then to the back. That is how she is looking. Now, to my surprise, this unit actually feels a lot better than the sugar brown color. You guys know I said sugar brown had like a coarse texture to her. She wasn't as soft as I'm used to having my Janet Collection units feel. This one feels just like my normal Janet Collection units. It's very, very soft. It does come with a lot more shedding than the sugar brown color. All that hair up in there. You guys see I got a little bit of snacks at the end, but nothing crazy, just that shedding. Ooh, child. I think this 
one is pretty as well. Normally I would go for the sugar brown color. However, this one is also pretty. Hmm. Well then, you guys tell me down below. I think this one is a look as well. This is giving me like sugar baby vibes. <laughs> but guess what? I pulled it off. Is there an age cap on sugar babiness? <laughs> But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much to Shell and Danita for collabing with me on this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check them out. I will put both of their videos down below. Shout out also to Ebony Lime for sending me these units. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.